So joining me today is Safety Pins. Yo. We got uh, Danny over here and we got Abe over here. Straight from East LA. <laughs> so guitar and bass, I'm yeah. correct. So yeah, man. So thank you guys for coming out. You know, I know it was pretty early, but um, yeah, dude, it means a lot. Nah, it's cool, man. Thanks for having us. I mean, we have a new album out, so we're just kind of trying to push everything out. Like, you know, I think like this helps us out. Like, it's pretty cool. Like, you guys have the whole setup back there. It's tight. Yeah. I respect it. It's just cool. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, just tell us about the band. Like, how how did you guys get started? When did you guys get started? And like, where you guys plan on going? Yeah, it's actually pretty funny because um, so I was in multiple bands like in high school, like. Pretty much any other musician. Damn, like, like, you, you go through like genres fucking and like band whore, dude. Yeah, <laughs> dude. So I was in a bunch of bands, and at the end of the day, like certain band couldn't make a show because a certain member, mm-hmm. or I don't know, it was always drama. And I was like, "Fuck, dude! Like, I'd rather just make my own shit." Mm-hmm. So like, I started this band. I wrote I have what fourteen songs, and he was my homie from high school. And I was like, "Hey, man! Like, you down? Like, join my band? Like, play shows?" He was like, fool, I don't know how to play bass. Like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, here's my bass, here's my amp. Like, we got a show, like, in a month. And he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? It was all of a sudden. Yeah, it was like... So, how, how, how'd you, I, I mean, mean, how'd you I, react to I that? I need how'd some guitar, that? so I guess it kind of helped. But even then, I was like, fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, and then, like, it was already... I think we had more time back then. Because, honestly, like, we well, yeah. would practice, well, like, I mean, three yeah, times a week. School, so. Well, it was uh, a year after high school, actually. So, oh, okay. it was 20... Was it really? 17? Yeah, it was like literally a year after high school. Oh. So, so it's guys, 2017. Like, I, I would say the band started. Wait, you guys are and class of 16? 15. 16? 15? 15. Oh, so, make, Making me feel old, dude. 15? <laughs> but we started 17, yeah. yeah. So uh, I guess like a year or two. But and so I made them learn. I was like, all right, so we need a drummer. And the drummer took forever, dude. Like, oh, my God. We forever took forever to, to find a drummer. Like, Oh, to find one. And to, so and you then, like, be writing music, but... Like, we're like, well, we can't. Without play. a drummer, so, yeah, so like, it would, it would sound kind of like off, you know. Like, we were, like I mean, off, we wish yeah. we had a drummer, but mm-hmm. well, we'd still keep making music. Yeah, yeah but um, but anyway, so like, and then eventually, I found my other homie, and like, we we're like, hey, just play drums for a cool minute, and he's like, all right, and he did, and like that worked out for whatever, and. It, he left for whatever reasons, and then ever since then we've been through five drummers. <laughs> five a few drummers. drummers. We've been through a few. Like, so it's always, so has it always been a three piece from the start? Yeah, it's always been a pretty three much. piece. Like oh. no second guitar, like nothing. Like I pretty much like in the beginning I wrote the whole first CP by myself, like uh-huh. the first what nine songs by myself, and then after that he started contributing. You know, once he started learning more, like mm-hmm. bass, obviously. So and, so. How, that's kind of I mean kind of reminds me of a, I think it was that I don't know if it was Wasp or, or Motley Crue but I know that for a fact that I think it was Nikki Six that he uh, literally yeah. didn't know how to play bass but they're like one of the greatest or not they're yeah. a huge fucking a pretty you know, big rock band. and roll band or fucking uh, you know uh, oh, yeah. uh, what, glam glam metal oh, okay. glam. but the dude didn't know how to play bass and that's the trippiest part so it's like oh, yeah. how did you did you did you just kind of go with it go into it like alright uh, Fuck it, let's just go. I mean, for at it first it was like it. a, it was like like a hobby, huh? I guess. Yeah, I mean, we pretty much did it for fun, you know. We weren't like taking it all serious, mm-hmm. but well, since I kind of had experience with guitar, like at first, I guess I had trouble with like the strings, you know, because they're like really thick. But in the end, I kind of got it, and I actually enjoy it more than guitar now. Yeah, I mean, even though I still <laughs> have trouble with it sometimes, but yeah, like bass, bass just seems more fun to me. To yeah. like mess around with, you know. Mm-hmm. And guitar has always been. Your... Yeah, guitar has always been for me because I played bass in a couple of bands already. To be honest, I think what like three bands I play bass in. Mm-hmm. But I love guitar because you can be sloppy as shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you don't have to be on point, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, you kind of do, but like not really, you know. Yeah. Like you could play three chords sloppy as shit, just have distortion all the way up. But if you play bass <laughs> and it's sloppy, it just sounds like, dude, that's off. Like <laughs> you throw everyone off, you know. If you're bass mm-hmm. or drums and you're sloppy, you throw everyone off. But if you're a guitar, the drummer's just like, I'll do my own shit. Like, I know this was doing, like, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. as long as the, the rhythm is going, then you're good. So that's why I like guitar more. Like, I have to be more reckless. You know? <laughs> I just jump around. Jump like, around anyone that's seen us knows that I like to jump around. I throw my shit. Like, well, he's yeah. the more, most wild one. Yeah. yeah he's he, even hurt yeah. himself when we played. <laughs> oh, he man. Kinda, um, you kind of remind me of a, 
the Latino Kurt Cobain. <laughs> Latino <laughs> Kurt Cobain. Hey, you watch, you watch Kurt Cobain like in videos, and it's like, oh, that's kind of like Danny. Like that's Danny right there. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Um, I play with my other band, Sunset Couriers. I play bass for them, mm-hmm. and I do the same thing. I jump around and shit. And some dude went up to me. He's like, hey, like. You guys were cool, but you, man, like you got down. <laughs> you remind me of the basis from Nirvana. You're like the spotlight. Yeah. He, go, he told me, he was like, you remind me of the from Nirvana. I'm just like, <laughs> I, I, like that's cool. I don't listen to Nirvana, but I guess, no. like, you know, that's cool. Just being like, oh, man, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, it's good, dude. Uh, I mean, you guys, you guys, I mean, you guys don't sound like Nirvana. You guys have your own sound. It's very, um, yeah. it's funny because it's changed, like, as mm. we've, like, progress it's time. definitely changed uh-huh. like you listen to our first ep it's just straight like indie like punk and it's, mm-hmm. it's kind of weird people then, would tell us it sounded like joy division and like yeah we at some point that. even the doors for some reason someone, someone told us it sounded like the, the doors, doors? <laughs> i was just like <laughs> i mean i could i could kind of see why I, some, every once I guess, in a while like some like influences deeper, you know the voice or yeah yeah the voice when you do go deeper it's, it's kind of like doorsy i suppose mm-hmm. like that makes sense. more like or, or, i don't dark. know how to, i can't reenact jim morrison but I, I can kind of see why where they may have gone in that, but I know you guys kind of go for a raw sound. Yeah, it like just it, it goes. It seems that you guys really like just it's more of like a pure emotion, like well, yeah, like, type thing. Like just like let's just go for it and let's just play our hearts out and just fuck yeah. It. Have and we just have that energy. The energy has to be fucking there. Like yeah, we make a new song. I'm like, if we're not feeling it, like nah, let's just put this to the back and put then, it to the side fight. or whatever. Yeah, drink Come a back beer. To it. Make something. That's what we make most of our songs. We just like. Just drink I've had practice, we drink, and then I'm just like, oh, dude, this fucking sounds cool. And then, like, so, started, like, backing off each other, you know, like, yeah, it sounds cool, it sounds cool, maybe we should do this. And, like, I don't know, that's how we make most of our shit. Like, ever since Fish joined, like, it's been a lot easier to make songs. And, like, Fish, feel, Fish being the drummer, the drummer right? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, right. couldn't, couldn't meet with us, so I had to go to work. But, you know, like, yeah. gotta do what you gotta do. But Yeah, you gotta do, man. But yeah. he's my boy, Fish. Shout out to you. <laughs> Camera one. Why do you call him Fish? What, is that like his nickname? Uh, or? Well, he, well, obviously, uh, I mean, obviously, right? Know, you know, know what's funny? Be. Why he joined the band? That dude was a fan of ours, uh-huh. and he just randomly messaged us like, "Hey, do you guys need a second guitar player?" Oh shit! And I was like, a "Guitar player?" I was like, "Nah, dude. Like, we're good, but we need a drummer." And he's like, "I could drum." And I was like, "Fuck it, dude, shoot through. Like, we need a drummer." And he shot through, and turns out he lived like ten minutes away from me, <laughs> and he was like, "Bro, like, I love your stuff. I thought you guys were big already." <laughs> I'm oh. just like. Nah, not anywhere near <laughs> that. And like, yeah, and then he like joined the band after that. And like, he's very dedicated and all this stuff. Like, I feel like. Well, actually, he tagged us in a Jurassic Shark post, didn't he? Did he? Really? You know, that's oh, how, yeah. that's how he, he like... wanted us to play a show with like a bigger band. And I was like, mm-hmm. dude, you know us? Like, you know? <laughs> and... yeah, that's kind of that's cool though. Like, he, yeah. he seems like he admired you guys from the start. So. Yeah, he like went he... from being a fan to being, to in, being the in the band. Yeah, which probably made him feel like a million bucks. You know, I'm well, pretty yeah. sure. Because I remember he would tell me like the first couple of practices, like, is this the way you want it? Like, if you guys want to <laughs> go with me, that's cool. I'm just like, nah, dude, you're good. He's like, nah, I know, like, I fucked up this part. I was like, nah, you're good. He's like, nah, nah. I was like, bro, like, you're good. Nah, <laughs> like, nah, dude, nah. god dang. Like, you're good, man. It. Honestly, yeah. like, that's why, like, we've had so many drummers because mm-hmm. I could adapt with their style, like, pretty easily. Like, mm-hmm. like, bro, I'm just sloppy. Like, you know, I'm just going to go off for you, if anything. I mean, don't as long as me. it sounds good, right? Yeah. I tell them, don't go off for me. Do whatever you do, and I'm going to go for you. Like, like make, your, make it work. Your rhythm or, like, whatever. Like, I'll make it work. Like, I'm, I'm good at improvising. Mm hmm. Like, even when we make new songs, we'll make a new song, and we'll be like, hey, let's play at the show this Friday. <laughs> I don't have lyrics for it. I'll just mumble shit, dude. No one knows. <laughs> no one fucking knows. I'll make shit up, like, on the spot. And, like, no one knows. They're like, dude, this song sounded cool. I'm like, yeah. Cool. It's a yeah. mumble rap. It's, like, 50% done. Yeah. It's, <laughs> like, it's like, the reverb helps. I mean, it works. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, it helps, like, and it yeah. works out. But uh, uh, I had a, I mean, fuck it, dude. When you, when you got to do what you got to do, you just do it. Like, I have a cousin of mine who... We used to play in a band back in years ago, <laughs> and Richie can attest to this. But uh, one time, I uh, I couldn't make it to do vocals, and then long story short, he just did vocals. And he was like, "Ah, oh, fuck it, fuck it. I'm just gonna whatever, whatever comes out." <laughs> Dude, I, I shit you not. Like the whole fucking set list, he was just like every time there'd be vocals growling it out, he'd just be like, "Fuck you, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you, bitch. <laughs> fuck you." Like he was just like yelling out Dude, obscenities, yeah, and it, but it know, worked out. Yeah, I know. I mean, you're growling that shit like. No one's like, that's not the right lyric food. Like, you know, like, yeah, yeah. Nobody showed up. It was like, hey, you know, you didn't quite sing that the yeah. way I, as a matter of fact, these words are on. You know what's funny, though? Uh, one of the last shows we played in Pico Rivera, um, someone was a fan of ours and they went to the show. And like, we played uh, our song called Love. Mm-hmm. 
And like, she's like, oh my God, I got that song. I was like, oh, it's cool. We play it for you. And I forgot the words. I was like, yeah, no one's going to know this. And she was just like, hey, you forgot the words. She was like, you forgot the words, huh? And I was like, fuck, I didn't think you'd notice. (laughs) I mean, that kind of says something, I guess. Maybe she had a crush on you type thing. Yeah, it kind of means that that someone cared. Like, you know, (laughs) someone out there was like, she was probably like, yeah, the fuck this was neat. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, I don't know. So, um, so I, I know you guys play a lot for sure. You know, you guys are very active on social media. I mean, I follow you guys. Yeah. And um, you guys are definitely the kind of band that is with the times. And you guys know how to handle the social media account very well. Because, you know, that's pretty much where everything's going. Yeah. So every time I see, yeah, I, I see you, you guys are very active. And I was like, yep, you guys are doing exactly. Yeah, man, the doing. kids, like the kids are on their phone 24 seven. Like mm-hmm. if you can't get them to a show, you're going to make sure you put your shit on their fucking timeline you, know? you got to make sure something's popping up on theirs because that's where they are like 90 percent of the time <laughs> like you know like they're just fucking doing something thanksgiving man. dinners just like you just see like yeah dude like no like, lie like they'll be just like looking at new bands looking for new bands like mm-hmm. even if they don't go to your show like they'll still be like hey well, even i heard on, about these foods. on spotify like you know yeah dude. your band could come up and well, similar artists you know yeah i mean spotify and all the streaming i mean streaming is well yeah is that's, what it is now you know well, yeah like, no one CD's really dead. buys cds unless you yeah. collect yeah, or cassettes. You know, people are starting to collect cassettes, which is kind of cool, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I really, I want to start making cassettes because, like, all those indie surf kids, they love cassettes. But I'm like, that's cool, like, collectible. But do you guys know how to listen to that? <laughs> I, I think it's an appeal to vintage. I mean, people yeah, just turn yeah. into, into, like, vintage things. Vinyls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I get the appeal. I mean, you know, it's like everything's... Well, yeah. It's like everything's Bringing going so digitized. Old. So it's like just, like, a sentiment for, like, the older stuff. Like, oh, oh, I yeah. kind of wish... I just want to hear vinyl. Or yeah, yeah, it does it sound a, a little different. different yeah. like, mm-hmm. sound sounds sounds more everything. crisp. It sounds like we should make some vinyl soon. That'd be kind of tight. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it will hit. It's expensive, but it is oh, expensive. Yeah. yeah, I'll grant you that. Yeah. But I mean, fuck it, dude. Like you guys do, do you, man? Keep yeah, going. man. I really want to try that because. Yeah. So, uh, you guys have an album out, Crybaby, if I'm correct. We have a full length, right? Three EPs and one whole album. Which is called Crybaby, and hopefully people start listening to it because I don't know I put a lot of work into that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, bro, like I put a lot of work into that, and we're actually so Crybaby came out this year, yeah, and we have another album coming out like in two weeks, <laughs> another ten brand new songs that like, we wrote. What what is that one gonna be called? That one's called Basura Boys. Ba- Basura Boys, like Basura trash boys, boys, like Trash Boys, yeah, <laughs> Basura Boys. And the cover is like all anime. It looks fucking cool. Oh, that's cool. Like, so- it, like it looks different. Like honestly, like. I really like it. I like the the direction we're heading. So did you guys get an animator to to you know, create the artwork? Or you know what's funny? It's just our homegirl Angie. Shout out to Angie. She uh <laughs> she just randomly drew us. She was like, hey, like um we played a show for her boyfriend's birthday, and she's mm-hmm. like, oh, for like a thank you, like I want to draw you, like I want to draw you guys. So I was like, all right, cool, like whatever. And it came out really fucking cool. And I was like, dude, this should be the album cover. That'd be tight. <laughs> and it kind of just like all right from there on. Like, Does she know? That's cool. She doesn't know. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't, no. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. I, I so said that. She's going to see this. She's going to be like, I don't want that to be the album cover. Yeah. What like, the? That was for you. <laughs> like, I, I, I have to ask her permission first, but I'm pretty sure she's, you know, well, she's going to be cool. Be cool about she it. can help me make a video, actually. So we have a video coming out uh, in two weeks for one of the songs from Cry Baby, you know. Because yeah. I, I want to make videos for, like, almost a lot of the songs we have, even if they're old. Like, I mean, because people fuck with videos, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, videos help you get... They help you tell everyone the vibe that you're going for. Mm-hmm. And if people would latch onto that vibe, they're like, okay, I can see what the fuck they're doing, you know? As mm-hmm. opposed to just listening to it, they're like, yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. If they see a video, they see the vibe, they kind of attach to that. They're like, okay, I can see what these dudes are doing. Well, that's why uh, that's why MTV back in the day just changed the changed the world. I know, man, because you see videos before the song. <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, Before yeah. you knew the song, you well, saw the video. Yeah, exactly. It's too. like, oh, that's that, that one yeah. song with the one music video. Is it, you know, Michael Jackson is doing this or doing yeah, that. Yeah, the fucking, um, like, what's that one song? Oh, I forgot. But it was like a big spaceship. <laughs> mean, it was a big spaceship and it was just like, dude, that song's fucking tight. Yeah. Um, spaceship? Yeah, it was a spaceship. I don't know. So, 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 um, so what do you, what, what is the plan for the future? Like, future uh, i mean we have a bunch of shows coming up for october we have what the 18th we're playing boy heights with um spare change ska you've been playing a lot of ska shows surprisingly mm-hmm. and then the 21st playing downtown and the 24th we're playing gardena backyard we're playing in a garage that'd be cool and the 25th we're playing 26th we're playing pomona 
And then November Release, 2nd, yeah. we're playing the Dia de los Muertos. So for now, just, you know, shows, like Dia supporting the shows. new album. Yeah. Because the album's going to come out in the middle of all those shows, which is pretty convenient, you yeah. know? And so, like, yeah, just, you know, play more shows. Just try to get more out there because, honestly, like, I just want to play more shows out there. Like, make sure people, like, know about us because, you know, I care about it, you know? Mm. I care about it a lot. I put in all my effort into it. I break, put all my money, like, dude, like. I want to make something out of it, you know? But at the same time, have fun. You know, I want to make sure everyone's having fun. Like, fuck. So I want to make sure everyone's on the same boat. Yeah. You know? well, I mean, so shows. far, so far it looks to be doing pretty well, actually. Yeah. Especially online. Like I said, like, you guys are, the online thing, you guys have it nailed, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. So yeah. keep doing what you're doing, man. And, um, and again, thanks for coming out. And, and this is pretty cool, dude. Like, hopefully, well, anyways, uh, you want to let people know where they can catch you online. Like, I know you guys have Instagram pages, Facebook. Our Instagram is what pops the most for some reason. I don't know. I guess everyone likes Instagram well, a lot. that's where everyone is. Yeah. Say, uh, safety Pins Ban on Instagram. Safety Pins Ban. And then Facebook, Safety Pins. I think we have, like, what, 50 likes on there? <laughs> <You know? 50 laughs> our, our, Instagram is like, our Instagram is, like, 800. Our Facebook is, yeah. like, 50. Whatever the fuck. I mean, face, yeah. Facebook, people yeah. just kind of get on to do... Just look at memes at this point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. Twitter. We have a Twitter. I don't even, we don't even use, use it. it. I don't use it. So just Instagram, really, or just, you know. And te- streaming platform. Text me. <laughs> I mean, text, they can find you me. on streaming. Am I correct? Oh, yeah. Spotify, you know, iTunes, all that crap. Like, just yeah. safety pins. Like, look us iTunes? up. iTunes? It's not even around anymore. iTunes, yeah. Is it? Well, I mean, Apple Music. Oh, it's shit. Apple Music Same now. shit, bro. Oh, yeah. Apple Music, fucking like, Spotify. Hang on, Amazon Music, Google Play, like all that weird shit that no one uses. We're on that. <laughs> We're on that too. Like, you know. <laughs> cool. So yeah, look at stuff. Listen to our shit. Like, I don't know. We have a lot of stuff to share. Like, we what two fucking albums, like a couple EPs. Like, uh, you're bound to find something you like, I think. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. And the next show, like, oh, I'm sorry, uh, reiterating, was when? Just so. Next show this Friday, Friday the 18th, um, Boyle Heights. But our release show, which is. Probably a little more important. The 26. 26 is uh, you want to go to the Pomona. We're going to play a sick ass indie show out there. Bunch of dope bands. Man, that show's going to crack for sure. Cool. Hell yeah. 26 right. release show. There you go. So there you- <laughs> cool. So there you have it. Safety pins. Thank you guys again for coming out. Sorry, Fish yeah, couldn't man. make it, but you had to go to work. But he still came out and performed like a fucking champ for us. Yeah, hopefully you guys like the song too. It's a brand new song off the new album. You know, tell us what you think. Like that'd be cool. cool. Oh, and shout out to all because we work together. So shout out to the people that are watching that we work with. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so cheers! I, 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 I sort of like you. No. Cheerio. <laughs> <With water. laughs>